Hey guys. Okay. My name is Courtney. I'm a junior at Marion, and this poem is untitled. What I know of my uncle, I know from stories spoken by mouths unaware little ears were listening. From his mother, from his brother, who didn't know that I understood. His name is John, but he prefers Robert. He was adopted. He was born in 1968, which makes him 48, the youngest of his siblings. He is Native American. He bleaches his hair so the gray doesn't show and the color ends up matching mine, but I don't really have the heart to tell him. <laughs> at age four, he would leave his bed in the middle of the night and throw eggs up at the ceiling trying to get them to stick. My dad still holds all the time he had to clean that up over his head. At age 12, he left his room in the early morning hours and crashed the family car about half an hour later. At age 17, he received a 25 to life sentence for murder. The only thing I know to, com to be completely true about my uncle, the only thing I've ever heard about him from his voice and not whispers behind hands, the only thing I know about him, he wrote a book, a children's book. My uncle wrote a children's book called The Burial of Crazy Mouse While Incarcerated. <laughs> It's the story of a small village of mice terrorized by an eagle. The eagle would swoop in and snatch up villagers whenever he pleased, and no one would do anything. There was one little mouse in the village, the smallest, the weakest, the youngest of his siblings. When his mother was snatched from the village, his siblings turned and cowered in fear and did nothing. But this little mouse, the smallest, the weakest, the youngest, went out to save his mother from the talons of the eagle. The other mice in the village called him Crazy Mouse, crazy to scream and shout, crazy to seek justice, crazy to love so fiercely. Although Crazy Mouse was too late to save his mother, he was not too late to save his village. At the same time, the eagle's talons ripped into Crazy Mouse. Crazy Mouse's stick pierced the eagle's chest. They both looked at each other one last time as they died. Last summer, I went to go visit my uncle with my dad. He asked me to publish his story, to tell the world of Crazy Mouse and the eagle. I was terrified. <laughs> I could not imagine telling any child this story of belittling, of murder, of flesh torn from bone, of a dead mother, of betrayal. I thought it was crazy. I thought he was crazy. Crazy.